Jessica. My name is Jessica. Jessica, Jessica. she said early on, she into women only. Um, how old are you, Jessica? I'm 35. What do you do for a living, love? I'm a public administrator. So I most recently worked for the mayor's office of Biden Production here in the city of Chicago. I was hired under Mayor Lori Lightfoot, and then I worked under Brandon Johnson. And so since April, I've been back independent, focused on my music. I do a lot of work in the community at my own nonprofit. So that's what I'm doing right now. So what was your job title be? Uh, I was a program manager. So I managed, I, I built a program uh, called the Emergency Supplemental Victims Fund. And so we give money to victims of gun violence in all 15 priority communities on the south and west sides of Chicago. So I built out this program through the Chicago Department of Public Health. I uh, built it out in September 2022. And so when we started, we had a $330,000 budget. Now the budget is $6.7 The mayor's going to do a big announcement. Okay. But I'm no longer okay. in the mayor's office. I'm an entrepreneur. So that's an old job? I mean, Jessica, that's an old job. As in, I left it in April. Jessica, Jessica, a couple things. You're too close. We got to see your full head. Don't cut your head. Cut what off. I need to do? Sit down? Should I sit down? You got it? Yeah, maybe figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Can you see me now? And then, what is and what is your job? It's a program manager. Is that simple? Is that an old job no. you were telling me about no. or your current job? No, no, no. When I, as in, I was just at this job for two years. I just left this job. So I have my own company. So I'm an entrepreneur. Like I have several companies. Okay. And so I'm the founder and executive director of Hearst. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, I don't need the details, just the title. Okay. My, well, I'm an executive director now. So I'm a boss. See, uh, like you. Mm -hmm. Like me. Well, you, you're a boss. I'm a boss. Like you. You're a boss, right? Uh oh. No? Um, uh oh. Okay. I mean, yes, okay. I guess. No, no, well, no, forgive me. My bad. My bad. No, I do a lot of things, ma'am. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm very dynamic. Like, I'm 35. I've been very active in my community since I was a teenager. So, like, I have multiple jobs. I'm half Nigerian. She said. You know, Nigerians got a lot of jobs. She Nigerian scammer. She gonna say, Kendra, I'm just like you. Kendra said. You shut your lying <laughs> nigga lips up. <laughs> hey, Kendra. Wild. Kendra like the queen of shade. And I'm here for it. Kendra said, whoa, like me? Kendra looked at her. Kendra looked around and said, Chanel and LA Skyline and Bit What? <laughs> Kendra, Kendra was confused. She said, I don't understand. Where's the comparison? You like Kudakata. <laughs> you up here looking dusted and busted and just, what is this? But she do like, this is a handsome boy. She like girls. This is Step Study in the building. She out here working for the mayor. They done, she done, she out here bossed up. She done up the budget from a couple thousand to millions, you know, but she don't work for them no more. She working under Lightfoot. That's interesting. That Lightfoot woman. Have you guys ever seen her? You know, she talking about, you know, unique characters, if you will. <laughs> Appreciate your upward, man. Says live from prison. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm Yoruba. My name is Jessica Trinette for the Shade Disu. So my father's Nigerian, first generation. My mother's black. Okay. Okay. So back to the job. Okay. The titles you gave me was public administrator, program uh -huh. manager, and then executive assistant. No, 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 no. I'm nobody's assistant, ma'am. I'm an executive director. Director. Executive director. I direct. Director. Okay. Yeah. So since you executive director. Do you understand when I say when you're too close to the phone, like your head is cutting off? I, I gotta have your head. I'm trying. Off. I've never done this before. Is it better? Like I have people to help me, but I, I didn't have, really know about. Just look at the phone and make sure your head's not cut off. Is my, my head cut off? Okay. Your hair's cut off. Your hair's well, maybe okay. Your hair should not be cut off. That's what I mean. Do you have any kids, Jack? Um, Jessica? No. 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 Not, no kids. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. And um, you're in Chicago. Is that yes. where you live? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we got Jessica, 35. What's your zodiac sign? Libra. 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 So we got Jessica, 35. Libra, public administrator, program and manager, yeah, I can. executive director. She said, "Wait, wait, wait." She said, "Can I see myself, baby girl? Do you know who I am? Can you Google me? Like, obviously, you're not for me. Some bitch, like, can you see yourself? Can you see yourself, Miss Lady? Like, I know who I'm confident." I'm confident enough to get up on here, not even 
with no makeup on, with my hair not even braided because I know who the fuck I am. So I'm looking for somebody who know who the fuck they is. Sorry. All right. Well, as Mr. Wilson say, can you comb your hair like that? Huh? Can you comb your hair like that? Can you do that? Bone Quisha? Oh. Okay. A little bit of step steady hoodoo. She said, I'm up here looking like this because I know who I am. Now, if you were some uber known international celebrity, perhaps, but you ain't. You use a run of the mill step study. Don't nobody know you at all. At all. So you know who you are. This is what I mean. I cannot stand when people say, I don't care what people think of me. That is weak. We do care. We care what our respected peers and elders think of us because it has an effect on how we move through life. This sister here shouldn't have came over here just looking like anything because it's going to have an effect on what lady she can make lucky or what she got to provide. I wonder what she's looking for outside of a kudakata. So <laughs> a lot of these women, they come up here all bold and hmm. beating their chest. But, I mean, she's looking for a woman. Here we go. Mr. Wilson said it best. Where are we at? All right. But all I want to say to Tierney, can you comb your hair like that? Tierney, can you comb your hair like that? Can you comb your hair like that? Can I comb my hair like that? I got more hair yeah, than that. Know. So, yes, I can no, comb no, my, this hair is my like real that. hair. This is my real hair. God gave me this. Sound, sound See, I was born that. with this. See, I can comb my hair like this. Can you take a natural like, comb and do your hair? Do your hair like that right now. Do your hair like that right now. Let your mama can hair. you comb your hair like that? Yeah. Shout out to Tyranny. Tyranny said, comb your mama's hair. Shout out to Tyranny. Yeah. Undefeated. Tyranny. Uh, Tyranny is sign language 101, baby. Ain't got nothing else to say. Your, your mama hair nap it too, perhaps. Now, what about you? <laughs> and shout out to my guy, Joker Nutty Nate, making his cameo in the video. Y'all was out of pocket that night. That was awesome. That was awesome. Here we go. <laughs> I saw a comment that I ain't like. No, what she's referring to is because I, I'm keep, I keep telling you the same thing over by not having your head cut off. So that's why she's saying, "Can you see yourself?" No. Because if you can see uh, yourself, oh my! I thought she meant like, "Oh, you ain't, you ain't get your makeup on." Like, hold on, shorty. I don't want no fake shorty. I want a real. I don't want nobody with a fake body. I need you to have that real shit. I like real women. You feel me? Not saying that. She, yeah, but not saying that she's not real. If you got that, I just don't prefer it. Yeah. Okay, but Jessica, bare basic. Following directions, I think, is what she was referring to. Because I always I'm say, trying. Hey, well, try harder. You're 35. I can't play these little kid games with you, Jessica. It's not hard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm. Look. I see myself. Can you? Is the full? Yes. Because I cut off. Because when the reason I I make this because once you get too close and you get too close and then you get too close. So it's a good barometer to just make sure we can see your full head, your hair, all that. Okay. I'm an, uh, see, I'm on right. my I'm on my iPhone and I just switched to Samsung. And so right I'm back sorry, I should have joined with my Samsung. So forgive me. I'm on an old ass iPhone. But you can ask me the questions like people can follow up with me directly or whatever. The women, of course. Preferably so in you, Chicago. So you're gonna just have your head cut off the whole time. No, I'm I don't know how to do it and I don't want I don't want to, I don't want to waste your time, but I'm trying, like I don't really Look, Jessica, what, what kind of woman you looking for, Jessica? Grown. What kind of woman you looking for? You got to be grown. You got to have your own shit, your own money, your own job, your own everything. Because I got my own everything. Okay? What's your deal, Breakers? You got to believe in Jesus Christ. And if you don't, I don't want you to. But I don't want a woman who don't know the Lord. Personally, because I don't have time to teach you. I'm 35. Like, if you 35, first of all, you got to be my age and older. I don't want no young chick. I don't want no bum bitch. I've dated women who used me for my money. So I'm very, um, I've been, been in therapy. So, and May is mental health awareness month. I see you wearing green. That's the color for mental health. You feel me? So 
me healing from my traumas of dealing with a narcissistic ex-female that I used to date in Philly. Oh, if you're from Philly, sorry. I don't date any woman from Philly at all. No disrespect to you in Philly, but I'm traumatized. I'm from Chicago. We was doing the Regal Rumble last night. We did a segment. The woman talking about they're going to start dating women and all. We was just, oh, they're more protective. And they, what are you getting out of this woman? Like, seriously, what? Like, if she ain't got, does she got money? No. What's a woman getting? Uh, she, she says she a boss. Here's the thing. They called it in the chat. This one here, you hear how she all spastic and got an excuse for everything. This is probably DV step study. Like Kendra sitting here talking to her. Kendra got her attitude. She up here got a she's very odd. Oh, uh, I got an old iPhone. Having an iPhone got nothing to do with you going like this, huh? It could be it could be any phone. Back up, back up. And she keeps saying, okay, my bad. Keep bringing the phone closer. My bad. <laughs> Keep bringing it this wicked. Look. She in the <laughs> goofy is all get out. And I, I, think, I think any woman that would date a woman like this, you will have to be misandrous in some way. You got to have some type of dislike for men. And yes. some of these women will cut off their kudakata despite their face. Like, <laughs> what, what would make you date a woman like her? You're like, I'm done with men, but I'm going to date this. Or being a narcissist. I, I believe that these poor step study sisters do come across a bunch of narcissists. Like she just said. She said her last girlfriend was a narcissist. And I believe that to be true. Because they take advantage of these post sisters. Like you said, Gav. They despise men for whatever reason. And they, and they see step study coming with all that empathy and sympathy. Step study ain't never denied being no uh, being a step study. She don't care about how many kids you got, how many ninjas she dare to say today, and they take get it taken advantage of. That ain't fair. Yeah, I want to say it's probably a 95% chance any woman dealing with other women like this, they are you know, you are a broken woman and you're trying to run from something, I don't know what, and you're running into the arms of this wicked. So unstable, cool. she combative. And this ain't no man. She ain't about to get all stoic. No, it's emotional and good. Just keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> I want a chick from Chicago. Chicago chicks are real. Those who are real. You feel me? I'm from the East at it all. No, I'm from out West. I'm from up North. And I live out South. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry, Miss Kendra. I'm looking at the comments. I'm getting a little distracted. So she look a certain way. Do I look a certain way? Yeah. How many you desire look a certain way? Yeah, she fine. She gotta she gotta be fine. She gotta, you know, make her own money. Don't be hitting licks. Jessica, Get some real cash. Jessica. Yes. Jessica, do you understand English, right? Yes, I do. So do you I speak multiple languages, do you want, but I do, so do understand. You understand do you understand when I say don't have your head cut off? Because it's like you're refusing to follow I'm that number. Try, ma'am. I'm trying. Okay. It's not, trying hard. It's, it's not a hard thing. Okay, move back. Okay. Thing. What about like this? Is right here cool? Is like this cool? Is this yeah, cool? This is better. Okay. I need my glasses. That's the reason why I keep putting to my face, honestly, because I'm trying to read the comments, but I don't have my glasses on. But I'm just gonna listen to you. I'm gonna stay right here and listen to you. Another excuse. Did the woman make a uh, hey Victoria? Money. Yes. She needs to make at least six figures. Absolutely. She's going to make at least $100,000. After taxes. After taxes. Mm -hmm. Let's do the Kendra cam. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah. now that I was already ready for. Well, I'm going to let you say you want to see how my body looks. What I got to do? What I got to do? So, tell me how to do this. What I got to do to put a yeah. Kendra cam? I got to show you. I, know, look, I do want to say this. I've lost 70 pounds. Since my 35th birthday, I went to Zanzibar, I went to Africa, and I came back home. I started cooking for myself. No Ozempic, no surgery. So I am getting myself together. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. You feel me? And you just do it. Y'all want to see how I look? Okay, let me turn the camera around. Look, hold on. <laughs> I'm in my mama's house. I'm visiting my mama right now. Right, so. Uh, can you see you me? See what do I need to do? Okay, oh yeah, for sure. Well, I'm gonna have my mama. Can I have my mama hold it for me real quick? Hey, mom. 
Real quick, I'm on Kendra G Live. I don't got time. I just need to turn the camera on so they can see how I look. This is I'm on live. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I don't show my feet because I ain't got no socks on. Her mom and they're all. Come on, can y'all see? Can you see my legs? You want to see my legs? You know what I'm saying? You can see my legs. Bring the camera down. Bring the camera down. down a little bit. Okay. Oh. All right, now we can see. You see? Yeah, we got no, I. Get him, Mucho. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Oh, dear Lord. Duh. Listen here, step study. Listen, I don't care what you're into. You're a woman. It's a cooter cat under there, and you did the Kendra cam. This is like bottom three Kendra cam. This is sloppy. Where That was nasty. She had to pull her, her, her sweatpants up. You seen that? She she felt terrible. This is wicked. And her her grandma, her mom in there laying down, looking all. All right, did y'all not catch her mom? Like her mom on on her way up out of here, man. <laughs> oh, dried up. Like this is wicked. This is wicked. And she's standing there right now. You know, it behooves me. That your hoes be walking around him stinking funk funk kitty cat licking ass. You hear me? And just got them all out those. Hit the like button, folks. I got, I got like 40 more pounds to lose, but I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Boys. Work with me. I work out every day. No surgery, no zipping. You hear me? No surgery, no zipping. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'm visiting my mother, so I just took a six-day mental health break from it from social media. And so I came out here to visit my mom to break my fast. So that's why I'm not at home. That's the reason why I'm kind of all over the place. Okay. Jessica, when was your last relationship? Three years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, honestly, like two, a month ago. Oh, what a guy. So I'm actually bisexual, but I'm not looking for a man. So. I, I, what I mean by that is, what I've learned on my journey is that men like me, women respect me, women love me. Men want to fuck me, women respect me, at least in my experience, but not all women respect me because my ex used me. So what I'm saying is I'm not looking for a man, but I do deal with dudes sometimes. But when I'm with my chick, it's just me and her. Do I work out every day? She said my dreams. Girl, <laughs> go, go, go ahead and say your $10,000 for that surgery. I won't meet you in that line. I won't see you, Dr. Miami. I'm in Chicago doing it the hard way, the smart way. Okay? Okay? The Nigerian way. We work hard. You know that. Your man, Nigerian. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are three things you have to work on, honey? Uh, I need to... I need to... Stop being so generous. Yeah. Oh, Listen, I was waiting. I'm sitting here and she she up here talking. And that's why I held back my nasty because I'm like, whatever. You out here scissoring timbers. But no, she said, now it was by, I hunched about a month ago. She and and the fact that she threw in that she is by disclaimer, she got hunched on by a dude. So she up here look for women, get hunched on by dudes. And now with that ninja, I want to see this ninja. I want to see you. Cause she she got on sweatpants and Timberlands and NBA jerseys and fitted caps. I want to see the ninja. And she built walktastic. Well, I was gonna say we can't see his face, but we know the body type. So uh, one of these two brothers walked up in there, probably the one on the left, more than likely, <laughs> and he was clapping cheek. Uh, oh my goodness. Hey, I hear you. He said, Hey, look, I, he said, Hey, bro, it's cool to cat under them sweatpants. It's cool to cat up under them flannel box. See that right now. <laughs> Project Leroy had enough. He said, Down the hole. Simple enough. Here we go. Madness. Fuck is you talking about? 
This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. <laughs> I see y'all dropping her IG. We don't want nothing to do with that Instagram, respectfully. Like, yeah, I don't know. That was just grim.